coming out of Nickelodeon's Five Minute Story Collection. And tonight we're going to read the Paw Patrol's Ice Team. It was a sunny day and the Paw Patrol was getting ready for a big trip to see their friend Jake at the ice fields. Suddenly, there was a loud roar and a giant truck rolled up. That's a totally awesome truck, Zuma barked. Is this how we're going on our road trips now? Jace asked. Yes, Ryder replied. Presenting the Paw Patrol. It's a lookout on wheels. It can take us anywhere. Ryder pressed a button on his pup pad. A door in the side of the patrol yawned open and a mechanical dog popped out. Robo Dog will be our driver. Inside the Paw Patrol was a hangout room, a snack machine, and space for all of our team's vehicles. As Ryder was showing the pups around the truck, their friend Jake called on the pup pad. Hey Jake, how are the ice fields, Ryder asked. Amazing, Jake declared. Take a look. The stream showed snowy hills and an icy river. Bring lots of treats. You get seriously hungry out here. Speaking of which, it's time for a granola bar. Jake set down his pack, placed the phone in a side pocket, and dug out a snack. Suddenly, he slipped on the ice and the pups could hear him shout, my phone, my maps, all my stuff. Jake's pack slid down a snowy hill. He chased after it. Be careful, Jake, Ryder cautioned. I've got it, I've got it, Jake yelled as he jumped to grab the bag. Oh no, I don't have it. The pack with all Jake's equipment fell into an icy river. The screen in the Paw Patrol went black. Jake's in big trouble, Rumble exclaimed. Pups, get your vehicles, Ryder said. It's time for a road trip. The Paw Patrol's back door opened and a ramp came out. The pups quickly drove their vehicle aboard. RoboDog started the engine and the Paw Patrol rolled into action. At the ice fields, Jake tried to get his backpack out of the water, but the riverbank was so icy that he began to slide in. Luckily, a husky pup pulled him back out. Sweet save, Jake said, then introduced himself. My name's Everest, the pup explained. I rescue someone. I've always wanted to do a real rescue. We should probably get going, Everest said. A storm's rolling in. I wouldn't want to lose my first real rescue in a blizzard. We can wait it out in my igloo. To get there, we can do this. Everest flopped onto her belly and slid down the hill. Belly bargaining, Jake shouted, taking off after her. Look out below. The two new friends slid along on the ice, zooming past some penguins. When the Paw Patrol reached the ice field, the snow was falling hard. The team started to look for Jake, then quickly found his frozen phone and pack. This means Jake doesn't have any supplies, Ryder said. Then he noticed something in the snow. Are those tracks? Chase gave the tracks a sniff. That's Jake, all right, and he's got another pup with him. Those tracks should lead us to Jake, Ryder announced. Let's follow them. As Chase followed the tracks on the ground, Sky took to the frosty air. This pup's got a fly, he said. Any sign of Jake? Ryder asked over the radio. No, she replied. Just snow, snow, and more snow. But then, off in the distance, Sky thought she saw something. Everest and Jake came to a narrow bridge that stretched across a deep, dark ravine. My igloo is just across that ice bridge, Everest said. Will it hold us, Jake replied. I hope so, the husky replied. It's the only way to get over. As they walked across, they heard a terrible noise. Crinkle, crackle. The ice bridge was breaking. Just as the bridge collapsed, Skye swooped in, catching Jake and Everest with the cable. But before she could carry them, to the other side of the ravine, the rope broke. Jump, Jake yelled. Everest landed on a ledge, but Jake missed it. He caught the edge with his finger and dangled over the dark ravine. Don't worry, Everest called. 
I've got you. She snatched Jake's sleeve and pulled him to safety. Yes, two rescues in one day. Everyone left the ice fields together in the Paw Patrol. They went back to Jake's cabin on the mountain for roasted marshmallows and a surprise. Everest, Jake said, I could use a smart pup like you to help out on the mountain. And for saving Jake and showing great rescue skills, Ryder added, I'd like to make you an official member of the Paw Patrol. This is the best day ever, Everest explained, and all the pups cheered. The end. Thank you for joining me on another Over the Moon Bedtime Story. We'll see you tomorrow night.